One more round of applause to the Hartford Hawks class of 2015. Fortunate loss here for the men's lacrosse team on senior day. Uh, eight honored prior to the game, nine to eight in overtime to Stony Brook. And uh, Pete, Stony Brook, Hartford, every time you guys play, it always seems to be fireworks. This one goes into overtime, the unfortunate loss. Uh, what happened in the second half that they were able to mount that comeback? Yeah, I just think we were a little careless with the ball. We wanted to play a little bit more six on six. And um, I think some turnovers, you know, some bad offensive possessions. I think we started missing the net, whereas in the first half, you know, we were making their goalie make saves. I don't know how many, you know, uh, shots, things like that. I haven't looked at the stats, but I just think we had some really good close looks that we just missed the net. And I think in the beginning, you know, that's how we got the lead is we made the goalie make saves and we played six on six in the second half. We didn't do quite as good a job of that on offense. But I think, you know, for their team and how they've done, like, you know, they had three or four man up goals, like, you know, and I think we did a great job. So. Uh, I was proud of our seniors. You know, I think, uh, if the, uh, like I said, if that was my last game on this field, they should hold their heads high, you know, because that's a top 20 team, and they took them right down to the wire. Yeah, a couple highlights from this game. Uh, Kevin O'Shea scores four goals. He's the senior. And then Ryan Vanderford, the freshman, was outstanding in between the pipes. Um, just talk about their individual performance sure. that really kept you in this ballgame. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, Kevin was, uh, I thought, was the best offensive player on the field for uh, most of the game. And uh, I thought Ryan Vanderford, you know, I texted him uh, yesterday saying I need 18 saves. I don't know how many he had, but uh, I, knew pretty he, close to that. Yeah, I knew he was going to have to have a great night because, you know, they have one of the best offenses in the country. Yeah. You know, a lot of weapons, um, you know, so, yeah, I thought those two guys, we talk about being difference makers, and I thought uh, those guys, along with a lot of other guys, were, were difference makers tonight. Well, we'll keep an eye on the game. Vermont and Binghamton play tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and then that'll decide the fate uh, for the lacrosse team as they're 3-3 three and three in America East. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for all the latest.